Hello everyone, Raul here. In today's video, we're gonna build a custom React hook that will handle calling a callback function whenever we press a key. We will turn this into a hook because it will be easier to use in different parts of our app and also move from, from one project to another without having to deal with writing all that logic for in every place in our app that we need it. So let me show you the best use case that I have for this. So first thing we're gonna have an input and that's gonna have a value, we're gonna say it's value and on change I'm gonna create a hook after this. So we're gonna get the event set value to event.target.value here and I forgot to close the input. Okay, let's also import use state from react and create the state okay so we have the state for that and whenever we type into it it will update our state then after this I want to add a button which is gonna have on click is gonna be a function called submit handler and it's just gonna say submit okay now let's create the submit handler okay so when we submit I, I will create another state that's be gonna be called list and set list that we're gonna we're gonna have an array we're gonna simulate sending it to maybe a redux store or something we're gonna have a list here of all the items that we submit you can think of them as maybe to do's or any other uh, list element so when we when we press the submit button we're gonna set the list to a new array with the we're gonna spread the previous previous list elements and then we're gonna add the value and at the end I'm gonna just display that that list with so we can see exactly what we have there so we're gonna get an item and we're gonna return an li with the item okay so let's see if that works I type something great so that works we add it and we add it to the li now one thing i would like here is when i type something and press enter i would like it to actually add the item to the list of course we can do uh we can do tab and go to the submit button and hit enter and then we have to go back again but that's too much and I don't want to do that. I want to have exactly type uh, into the input, hit enter, and it submits my uh, my function. Okay. Uh, also here I want to set the value to reset the value after I add a new item. So I type something, I submit it, and it resets the input. So let's see how we can create a hook that handles that handles that for us. I'm going to create a new folder called hooks without a point at the end. Okay, so inside this hooks I'm going to create a use on key press file. In this, I'm gonna import use effect from React and I'm gonna export a constant called use on key press. That's gonna be a normal function. This will receive the 
callback function, the function that we want to call when we press that certain key, and the target key. You could also use this with, you can either do this with a target key or the, or the name of that key, or with target key code, but target key code is actually deprecated, so we won't be doing, we, we won't be using that in this uh, tutorial. Now, all we have to do here is create a use effect. This use effect will have the callback function and the target key as dependencies. Okay, then we're gonna do window dot add event listener for key down and we're gonna call key press handler and in the return of the use effect we're gonna let's we're gonna clean up that event listener so we're gonna do key down and we're gonna remove the key press handler now all we have to do is define that key press handler the key press handler receives the event and we're gonna check if the event dot key is equal to the target key then we want to call the callback callback function and let's see how that works so this is gonna be just a really simple custom hook to get started so let's import the use on key press from hooks there okay so we use it like this we do use on key press then we pass the callback function which is gonna be the submit handler and then the key that we want to watch for so let's see if that works i type something i press enter it works i type something i press enter it works now then why did we have to move this into a custom hook i mean this is one thing people always think about why not just do the use effect here in the app well because this way we can just copy this use on key press file into another project or uh, add it to a library that way we can just import it maybe we can create our own custom library with some utilities this could be one of it and the nice thing is that we can now do something like this use on key press I'm gonna add an arrow function here, which is gonna set the text, set the value to the default one, and the key is gonna be delete. So now I can type something, press enter to add it, type something again, then I can type something, change my mind, press delete, and it deletes the content of that input. Okay, it doesn't really help much in this pretty simple example, the delete one. But maybe if you make a more complicated application, you can have different functions being called on different keys. So it's actually pretty helpful. Maybe if you make a game in, uh, in to React, again, you could use this really easily. Don't have to worry about handling the key presses there. You just pass the function and the key you want to call. And this handles everything behind the scenes. Now this only create, uh, this only adds the event listener for one key. So if we want to look for more complex uh, key actions, like maybe shift enter or alt shift enter or things like this, we can do it this way. Now, in next week's video, we're going to extend this use on key press hook. Actually, we're going to create another one, which is going to be called use on multiple key press, in which we're going to handle uh, key combinations. So it, that way, it, uh, that hook is also going to be able to take one, uh, 
one element, but also it's going to be able to take an array of multiple keys that when pressed simultaneously will call a certain function. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed it for future content. And if you want, come hang out and chat with me on Twitter. Link will be in the description below. Thank you and have a great day.